My name is Dylan Quigley, and I will probably eventually graduate from one of Florida's top 10 schools with grades. Now I'm using my knowledge of Comedy Central's canceled show, Nathan For You, to help struggling small business owners make it in this competitive world. This is Dylan For You. Click, click. Oh boy, do I love the sound of the camera. But I probably don't love that sound as much as local photographer Keegan McDermott, who's been struggling with his business for some time now. I've been struggling with my business for some time now. However, I have a plan that might be this business's last shot at succeeding. Yeah, so Keegan, I'm told you run a photography business? Uh, yeah man, that's exactly what I do. That's what you were brought here to help me with, yeah. That's good. Have you taken any pictures of otters, specifically ones in silly hats? I, no, man. I never... I just I can't say I have. Huh. So, uh, Keegan, what would you say is the hardest demographic for you to reach with your, with your business? Ah, oh, jeez. Um, there's a certain population in America. I don't know if you, like, know about these people. Well, you probably do, honestly. It's like, they look like orc people. And they're kind of uh, like Goo Lagoon monsters, and they got these wicked teeth. And I'm mostly just referring to ugly people. You know, they look a lot like you, frankly. Well, you know, if they're anything like me, then they're probably a good bit camera shy. Dog, you have a whole television show. Like, you have cameras everywhere. And, well, Keegan, what I'm here to talk to you about today is I actually have a plan that can maybe help some of the more camera shy people be more open to paying you for your services. By not offering a service to camera shy clients, Keegan was totally alienating a majority of potential customers. The idea, offer a program that allows shy clients a way of having their picture taken comfortably. The plan, take pictures of clients without their knowledge and charge them afterwards. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, that might, that might actually work. That'd be, I'm interested in that. And with that, I said goodbye to my new friend and headed off to find his first client. I decided to hang up flyers around the town to see if any ugly people would like to sign up. Right here. We're gonna get so many clients for Keegan. Unfortunately, our flyer only attracted one Goon creature, so we decided to bring him in for a session to try our concept out. So, Jason, are you here because you're a little camera shy or because you're one of those disgusting trash monsters? Uh, definitely just because I'm camera shy. Like, I don't know why you had to say that second part of like, at all. I think you know I had to say that, but whatever you say, buddy. Yeah, okay. So, what do I, what do, I do now? Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. So I can just let go now? Yeah. No. Okay. Weird. Thank God that fucking homunculate is gone. Like, I'm still here. Like, what did you just say? I, I didn't say anything. Repeat it, say it again. I, I said nothing. You sure? Yeah, I'm like, sure. Because I was standing right here. I, yeah, sure. Not even can. three feet away. You, you can go. You can go. We don't need you here. Leave. Okay. I'm leaving now. Okay, bye. Alright. Fuck. <sighs> Finally. I needed to make sure that we would be able to keep tabs on Jason at all times. So, before I sat down with him, I had Keegan stall him for a bit and talk to him while I ran outside and got some pictures of his license plate number. Later on, when I was talking to him, I asked for his ID for insurance reasons. Borrow your ID for like insurance purposes and whatnot, so. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Sick. And I gave it to Keegan so we could get some photocopies of it. And finally, I told him that if he ever needed me, he could text me. And so I got his phone and told him I was putting my phone number in it, but actually, I was having him share his location at all times, so I couldn't know where he was. Okay, so why are we here? We're here to take pictures of Jason. And he, he's in there? Yeah, I have his location. Oh, okay. What? 
want me to take a picture of him naked showering? Yeah, that's the photo. Okay, but why does he shower with the lights off? Have you seen him? He doesn't want to look at himself. Just turn the flash on. Okay. He peed his pants. So wait, what the fuck is game time? Game time is when he truly enters his natural habitat as a lifeless husk. Oh. oh he's waking up, he's waking up. We took a few more pictures just to make sure the client would be happy. Once Keegan edited the photos, I brought Jason back in to show him the final product and collect payment. So, uh, what do you think? What the fuck? The conversation went great. Jason seemed really emotional and ecstatic about the photos. He even gave us some constructive criticism to use for next time. Get out of this business, die in a ditch, and rot in hell! After some light small talk, we told Jason that if he didn't compensate us for Keegan's work, we would have to post the pictures on Keegan's blog for thousands to see. He asked if that was legal. Is that even legal?! And we informed him that it was, because of the non-compensation clause we hid in the release form he signed to be on the show. After that, he was more than happy to oblige paying us quickly and heading on his ugly way. Take your money. Yeah. Take this too. Can I keep the change? After Jason left, I sat down to ask Keegan what he thought about my strategy. So, uh, what'd you think? Um, I mean it was successful, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. I'm sorry. That's okay. I understand. Oh, but um, before you go, I was thinking I wanted to repay you for doing such an awesome deed for me. And, uh, well, I made this. I made this. I hope you like it. Wow. After spending countless hours planning and preparing with Keegan, I was really grateful that I was able to help a small business have a shred of success. However, what I was more proud of was making a friend. Why are you still here? I'm getting my shotgun. I left. <laughs> it's public property. What's going on, guys? Thank you so much for watching the video. <laughs> Yo, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.